going on there? What are you doing here? Tired of the life, are you? <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Ah. Yeah. So, we're out. Don't worry, I keep my word. But I have to go to Ratai and see my... my father. Fine. Well, you'll have to help me. Somehow the massage I got from that big bastard didn't do me a lot of good. A horse? Any word about your boy, Radzik? Nothing yet. Well, let's hope he hasn't done anything rash. Wouldn't surprise me, given the balls that he has. Now, I wonder where he might have got those from. Don't start, Hanush. I'm sorry, sir. This fellow... Henry. Father? I told you he had balls. Well, I see that you haven't been idle, and we'll certainly need to have a talk later, but not quite so publicly. It looks like you have plenty to tell us. What happened? I, uh... I got a bit tied up at Vranjik. But now I know what they're planning. What's being planned? And who's planning it? Spit it out, boy! There's no longer any doubt about it. It's that Hungarian noble you were hosting on the same day Sigismund pillaged Skalitz. Sir Istvan Toth. Toth and his people. Everything fits. They're the ones making the counterfeit money and using it to hire mercenaries from all around. He's already got quite an army at Vranjik. 
But what the fuck is he after? I can tell you exactly, and you won't like it. How's that? I had quite a long talk with him. What? When I was trying to get into his camp, I was taken captive. We had a bit of a chat. Actually, he told me his entire plan. What? I suppose he thought he didn't need to keep it secret any longer. I'm not all that surprised. Why not? What's that bastard planning? He's in the service of Sigismund. He wants to destroy King Wenceslas' allies. That means us. He's gathered a very large force. I'm honestly not sure if we can defeat them. And he knows no one will come to our aid now. That fucking cunt! I'll skin him alive! How many men has he got? More than a hundred, I'd say. And how secure is their camp? It's an old abandoned fortress on a hill above Sassau. It's inaccessible from three sides, surrounded by a timber palisade. Bastard! I'll crush that rabble of his! That's easy to say, old friend. It seems Toth isn't taking any chances. Together with Dibish, we can muster enough men. And we can all see there's no time to waste. That bastard wants a battle? Much better we pick a time and place than he does. Undoubtedly. We have to take them by surprise. It would be best to attack tomorrow night. We can't get ready any sooner. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, Radzig. Henry, I want you to get yourself fixed up and then go straight to Sir Divish of Talmberg. Yes, sir. Finally, a chance to show I'm not carrying a sword just for ornament. What is it, Henry? The thing is, we have to deal with Zbyshek. I see. Zbyshek is from Skalitz. He helped me escape captivity and save my life. I promised him a reward for it. Indeed. Well, Zbyshek, if you saved my son's life, I'm grateful to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your generosity. And under the circumstances, we won't ask how you came to be with that herd of swine at Vranik. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Henry. God be with you. Get a good meal inside you and get those wounds tended to. You look wretched. And if you need equipment or armor, tell Bernard. He'll give you what you need. Yes, my lord. No more, my lord. I'm your father. I swear, Hal, I plan to tell you. I'm sorry, Ishvan, of all people, beat me to it. But now we have more urgent matters to deal with. Hmm? Later, we'll have time to talk about it. What do you say? As you wish, my lord. Father. Good. Now go to Divish as quickly as you can, son. Awake already? I hope you've had a good rest after all you've been through. You might need it. We've got work to do tonight, so get up and get going to Tallenberg as soon as possible. If I don't set off right now Listen to up, deliver man. the message to Sir Divish, be a long there's a good night. chance our I men will he... lose the battle. I can't let that happen. Ah, are you blind? 
Sir, I bring an urgent message from my father, from Saradzig and Hanish. <laughs> I take it you've heard. What does your father want from me? I found out who's behind all the unrest in the region, and father and Hanish have decided to put an end to it all. What? So who is responsible for all our recent troubles? You may have met him, Istvan Toth. No, I haven't met him. But Sir Radzik said he'd been here to visit before... before the raid. I don't suppose that's a coincidence. He's in the service of King Sigismund, and he's fighting the nobility who support King Wenceslas. Father and Hanush have decided to move first and destroy him before he's prepared. Oh, for Christ's sake. When? And how? Tonight. They send word for you to muster your men and rendezvous with them at Vranik. This is madness. Maybe it is. But I fear that Radzik and Hanish are right. Very well, sir. Will you be coming with us? Yes, sir. miss the show. You didn't expect me to leave all the glory to you. Never. We wouldn't dream of starting without you. What news? Did you parley with them? <laughs> we did. And what was the outcome? <laughs> Not quite what we hoped for. Radzig wanted to go parley with them in person. Fortunately, I talked him out of it. <laughs> it seems that this will not be resolved without a battle. Bloody good thing, too. Finally, we'll have some proper entertainment in the countryside. Fortunately, my son here showed immense daring and made his way into the lion's den to spy on them. Tell us what you saw, lad. What do you want to know, exactly? Well, let's start with how well fortified they are. The outer palisade goes right around the whole camp. On a small hill inside it, there's a half-demolished farmhouse that's ringed by another palisade. That's where I was held prisoner. And that's where Toth's based. Him and his inner circle. Can you tell us how many tents there are and how they're arranged? There might be 50, maybe three score. Most of them in the right-hand side of the camp. And the men? How many men strong are they? Quite a few. At least 80. Huh. We don't number much more than that ourselves. We do outnumber them, though. Even if only by a few men. And our men are well-armed and disciplined. The foe, nothing but a rabble. From what I've seen, it's best to attack from our direction. How does it look from the other sides? The east side is all rocks, so no hope of launching a major assault from there. On the other hand, that's the way I escaped. It's where they throw all their waste. The heap's already so high, it's almost to the top of the palisade. 
Now that is interesting. The ramparts are long. If there are as many of them as we think, they can hardly keep watch over the entire length. Attack with full force at the gate, and they won't have enough men at the rear. That's an excellent strategy. But then I'd expect no less from you. If we cause an enormous uproar at the same time, they won't know what's hit them. Uproar? You said they have tents there? Yes, sir. Well, if I'm not mistaken, tents usually burn rather well. And we have quite a few archers. <laughs> you don't do things by halves, Divish. So, I believe we have a plan. Robard will take ten men and sneak to the rear of the fortifications. There's an entry point, but you must remain hidden. I will do my best, sir. That shouldn't be too hard. They'll have other things to worry about. The rest of us will launch a frontal assault. Rain burning arrows on them and then attack. Those bastards won't know which way to turn. At that point, Robot and his squad will strike from the rear. I think it's a good plan. God be with you, my friends. We'll wipe those whore sons off the face of the earth. Listen up now. We are about to meet the rabble that have been trying to hurt us. Pillaging, killing, raping, and generally being a thorn in our side for long enough. They may be hiding behind a stockade, but they are still a pack of curs who are no match for men like you. And tonight, we are going to festoon these trees with corpses. First, we will set fire to their little hornet's nest. Then we'll keep them busy by the gate. And when we've made it nice and hot for them, Sir Robard and his men will pounce on them from the rear. And we will hack them to pieces. Have you got it? Yes, sir. Good. Now, when we reach the ramparts, the archers will cover the men climbing it and the men with the battering ram. Any of these fuckers foolish enough to stick his head outside the stockade is to lose it at once. Understood? Yes, sir! Glad to hear it. Now, let's do it. Forward! Fire! 
shout. Anyone left around the tent? Keep up on us from behind. You men, over there. Where's that Hungarian bastard? Why isn't he here? Don't tell me no one was in command! It does rather look that way, Hanush. Henry, where's Toth? You said he was here. He definitely was, sir. I've got the cuts and bruises to show for it. You have to find out where he slithered off to. Look for clues. Anything that will tell us what he's doing.
So, this was all I could find. A letter? What does it say, Ratzig? Alongside hunting, drinking, and swordplay, you might find time for a little study, old man. In the courts of Prague, every Tom, Dick, and Harry can read nowadays. Yes, well, here in the countryside, we don't give a tinker's curse about such things. Huh. That's what I've got a scribe for, anyway. What does the damn thing say? It appears to be written by Toth, but it doesn't say to whom. It says, everything's going according to plan, and the castle should soon be taken. Castle? What castle? What does he need a castle for? Sir, we took this one alive. And it seems he's not just some ordinary spear carrier. Where's that rat Toth? Where did he go? Speak, damn you! <sighs> he's thwarted you again, hasn't he? <laughs> If you play your cards right, you might come out of this in one piece. Where is your lord? He was here yesterday, wasn't he? Come now, sir. We both know where I will end up. <laughs> My lord is gone. He took most of the men and left. Where is he gone? What is he planning? He writes here about taking some castle. Which castle? <laughs> oh, some nearby castle. Left completely unguarded. Now I wonder where it could be. <laughs> what are you saying, you horse son? Talmberg. Did he go to Talmberg? <laughs> You'll never get him. You'll never get. What? We are planning on sending him to some. Monastery to become a monk? I believe we have some work to do, Sir Dibbish, do we not? Mount up, gentlemen. We don't have any time to waste. Greetings. We... we were ambushed. We need assistance. We have wounded men here. Open the gate. The Lord be praised. Here! Come on! Lady Stephanie, I, I really don't think we should... My lady. Master man! Come on, master! My men are gravely wounded. Without treatment, I'm afraid they won't live to see morning. Hiya! Hiya! Not to worry. We'll take care of them. My lady, you have my uttermost gratitude. May God reward you for your kindness. Every Christian should help his neighbor in his hour of need. True. Especially now, when treachery and deception surround us on all sides. Get out of the way! The devil lurks in the shadows. Come on! And one fears taking a guest into his house. <laughs>
Master, the kid. secure the outer bailey.